is very important theorem. Suppose x, y, z are the matrix spaces where E is a subset of x and three mappings are given to us. First is F is a mapping from E into Y where Y is a matrix space and G maps the image of F into Z, right? And H is a mapping from E into Z which is defined by H of X equal to G of Fx for X belonging to E. So if F is continuous at a point P belonging to E and if G is continuous at a point F of P, then we have to show that H is continuous at P. So what is given to us? F is continuous at P. Secondly, G is continuous at F of P. And we have to prove that H is continuous at P. Diagrammatically, these mappings are presented over here. This X, Y, Z is your matrix spaces. And this green colored E is a subset of X and the point P is belonging to this E, right? So this blue colored F is a mapping from E to Y and image of F in Y as F of E, right? Which is mapped by G into Z and H is a mapping from this E to Z, right? So to prove H is continuous at P. Before starting up with the proof, let's read this very beautiful remark written over here. F is continuous at P if and only if X is tending to P implies F of X is tending to F of P. This remark is very important and I'm going to use this remark in the proof. Let's start with the proof. Now it is given to us that since F is continuous at P, and from this remark, f is continuous at p if and only if x is tending to p imply f of x is tending to f of p. So therefore, x is tending to p which implies f of x is tending to f of p where this p is a point in E. Right? Okay. Now secondly, it is given to us that as G is continuous at F of P. So from here by the same remark, we can write that G of Fx is tending to G of Fp. Which further implies that, now what is G of Fx? It is given that H is defined by H of X equal to G of Fx. So let's use this. So we're adding G of Fx as H of X is tending to H of P. Right? So the proof is almost done. From where we have started that X is tending to P and where we have reached that HX is tending to H of P. So writing this, since X is tending to P implies h of x is tending to h of p therefore by the definition that limit x tends to p h of x is equal to h of p right hence h is continuous at p all right thank you